basically. So, I mean, the reason we decided to change, we weren't necessarily, we didn't even know about Zero at the time. We'd used Sage 50. Uh, my finance manager was leaving, so obviously I was taking back the finances and I just needed flexibility. So I needed to be able to run my accounts, do payroll and everything. I wanted to do it online. And we'd approach Sage because obviously I know that they've got various online packages, but none of them allowed me to do everything. And certainly the payroll had to be done on a computer, on a server in the office, which really defied the whole point of me trying to do it. What I wanted to be able to do is access it wherever I was. Uh, I'm very flexible with my working hours. I might be anywhere in the world, anywhere in the country. I just need to be able to access it wherever I was and be able to just send off an invoice or check a quote or whatever online, not having to always go to my main server at the office. So that was the reason why I wanted to change packages anyway, and, and slightly different technologies. Uh, then when it was suggested we went to zero, we had a really good look and I downloaded the demo and had a look and some of the things I looked at I thought would make up my life so much easier. So we have a lot of business uh, in America uh, and a lot of our customers pay us in US dollars. So we have a US dollar account. And it would just be really nice for me to be able to run our invoices for the currencies, both in UK and US, from one system rather than having two systems and then trying to work out the foreign exchange between the two systems, which invariably went wrong because you put it in the wrong way when you posted it. And there were a few things that, you know, you were then very limited by Sage because you had to avoid things. You couldn't just undo it or just edit it. You'd have to avoid it and then redo the whole thing and invariably you do it wrong again. So there were a number of reasons, but when I looked at Zero and I looked at their demo system, it just seemed to allow me to do payroll online, do all my invoicing quotes, and it just looks a lot more efficient and a lot more professional, really. So that was the reason behind it. And then obviously we went on from there. I was concerned because obviously you think, you know, Sage is a, a very big package with a lot of modules in it. But it actually was very seamless. We seemed to do a backup on one day. Um, we set, I think the biggest problem was actually sending it because it was such a big file. So actually we set up a, a, an RT, um, a RTP, no, it was an FTP uh, link so that you could download the information. And I think by the next morning it was all imported and it was there. So we had two years worth of data. Um, there were a couple of errors, but I don't think that had anything to do with zero. I think that's probably how it had been posted in Sage originally. But either, you know, all of those were very easy to uh, put right because you could edit them, change them, whatever. So it was very, very seamless. Um, so the main accounting package that went through literally, I, I don't think it was even 12 hours um, from us giving you the information to us receiving it. Um, I have kept our Sage system live in our office. And obviously initially there might be a few things that I go in there to refer to, but I don't think, I mean, in fact, I switched on the computer the other day and had so many Windows updates, it shows you how long ago it was that I actually updated it. Um, because I haven't had to refer back to it because actually everything has been a lot more seamless. I mean, I should say I'm not an accountant. Um, I've been a finance manager for a long time, or finance director for a long time, but zero is just a lot more, uh, it's a lot easier to understand. I can look at it and I get what it's talking about. Whereas Sage felt like it was designed for accountants, for accountants, and it didn't make a lot of sense to me. And it was very confusing. Whereas Zero, it was very simple to get into it. So very quickly, I was off at the mark and I was able to run reports and publish them so that then Chris could have a look at them and say, yeah, I can see what you've done. That's great. Uh, there were a few things we had to do initially, like we had to do VAT returns for all the periods that were there. That literally, I don't think it even took me an hour because I literally went through, once I understood what I was doing, every single one came out. It was brilliant, made a lot more sense. I checked it against our original VAT things to make sure everything was okay. No, it went all very, very smoothly. Uh, payroll was a bit more complicated because I think payroll is. Um, but even that, once I got to grips with it, it was absolutely fine within a couple of days, you know, up and running, doing payroll. And yeah, it worked really, really well. Well, the best thing, to be honest, there are so many. It's so quick and easy to use. So from the moment I log in, it comes straight into your dashboard um, and it reconciles automatically with our bank feeds. So I can look at it and I'll say that there are six items to reconcile. I can have a look at it. It's done. So I'm not having to do a monthly reconcile when, once I receive the statement, which invariably from your bank is sort of six weeks after the event. I'm doing it on a daily basis. So I know that the system in Zero and my bank account reflect each other. So I know exactly where we stand. I know exactly which invoices have been paid and which haven't been paid. So that is brilliant. 
the big thing for me is my American invoices because I'm not having to run two different invoice systems with two different finances and then working out the foreign exchange. That's massive. I mean, that literally would take an hour per invoice, whereas now it's minutes. It's literally the hardest thing, as I said, is literally phoning up Lloyds to get the money transferred. Um, so that has been absolutely brilliant. But I love the reconcile and I love having my US dollar things. But it's just, it's the whole package. It just makes sense. I can look at it, I know what I'm looking at and I know what it's telling me. And, uh, and I can correct things. So, you know, I'm not perfect and I do make mistakes. And it's great because I can go in and just edit it rather than having to avoid the whole transaction and then start again, even down to journals. So if you um, put a, a journal in for month end, and I make a mistake, I can go back and correct it. I don't have to undo everything and then start again. So it's just much, much faster. It's given me a lot more time to look at other areas of our business that we can improve. Um, absolutely rubbish. No. <laughs> no, no, you are absolutely brilliant. And I felt very guilty because I think when we just done year end and just done the transfer and you went, to, you were on holiday and I did feel very guilty, but no, you were brilliant. So you were very helpful and um, explained. To be honest, you didn't have to help too much, I don't think, mm. because most of all, I was able to just run with it. So it was mostly the payroll that I was sort of getting a bit stressed out because you do, because payroll, you've got to make sure you pay your employees, apparently. Um, but no, it all went very well and your your support and expertise was very much, I mean, just recommending it was probably the best thing you could have done, to be honest. But yeah, no, you've always been there when I ask sort of stupid questions, which you say are never stupid. Um, it's great. You come back and you, you answer it and I get it. So no, very good. Very good. Thank you. Um, I would definitely recommend you that without question. And I think it's the personable relationship that we have because I know that I can text you or email you or message you and say, ah, you know, <laughs> I've got a problem, I don't know what to do. And you're there and you will know a solution or you'll know somebody who knows a solution. So absolutely. Oh, and it's a junk one as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would absolutely recommend you um, because I just like the personal relationship and I've built my whole business around having personal relationships with my customers. They're not customers, they're friends. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel very much about you guys is that I know that we end up talking about motorhomes and holidays and skiing. <laughs> but that to me is what is important about a relationship, not the accountancy side. That's almost a byproduct, if you see to me. Um, and we changed to you guys, because obviously we were with you and then we're, we're with you again, um, because the company that it changed to wasn't, I didn't know who I was dealing with, I didn't know the name, it changed every time we spoke to somebody, they didn't seem to know what we were doing. And it, it was those silly things that you just wonder what you're paying money for, whereas what I want is a friendship, as it were, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm.